Gadley, I'm Wayne's wife and this episode is about my 2020 archery season hunt but before the episode starts I want to give you a rundown of what I'm using to hunt with. I use the Matthews Avail bow. It is set at 42 pounds. I'm shooting rogue bow strings, 25 and a half inch draw and I'm using good old Uncle Ted arrows with a 75 grain muzzy broadhead. So you'll just have to check it out. So with my wife being 20 weeks pregnant, it makes hunting a little more difficult. Um, she doesn't like hunting out of stands as it is because of the height, and especially with her being pregnant, she did not want to be in a tree stand. So basically that forced us to hunt out of a ground blind. Um, the spot that we have been hunting close to home, the deer uh, activity had really dropped. So I went in search of finding some better deer sign and hoping to find a, a buck for her. Um, so I put a couple trail cameras out and within a couple days I had two really nice bucks on camera and on Saturday I went in in, in the middle of the day I, I set the blind got it brushed in with uh, hoping to hunt that evening and unfortunately my wife got stuck at work and she was unable to hunt that night so Tuesday evening was the next opportunity that she could hunt so on Tuesday on my way home from work, I called my wife and said, hey, I'm going to be there in about 30 minutes. Get ready. I want to get out, get in the blind. We had not put uh, stools in the blind yet, and I just wanted to get um, out there early. That way we had uh, some time to, to set up before the deer were going to come out. Um, because it was raining, it was 50 degrees, it was going to be a perfect night for the deer to move, and I knew they were going to move early. So when I get home from work, my wife is laying on the couch and she is sleeping, which uh, I got a little bit upset about because I I was uh, I thought that was going to hurt our chances of seeing deer. So uh, me and her didn't say too many words on the way to the stand, uh, to the blind actually. But anyways, uh, I guess you guys will see what happened next. That's huge. That's 180-inch deer. That's, that's a freaking monster. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think I got good footage of it. I was shaking so bad. I was trying to range. I couldn't range it. Oh my god. So, after the shot, we, w we wait about 10-15 minutes and we get out of the blind. We walk over to where she shot the deer and we cannot find any blood. We can't find any hair. So we just back out. We go back home and we review the footage and I reviewed it and reviewed it and reviewed it and I still couldn't figure out where she had hit the deer because her uh, light and knock did not light. Um, but I had sent it to a couple close friends and after having them watch the video and having me watch the video we thought it was a, a, a vital hit, we thought it was a, a fatal hit because the way the deer reacted. The deer actually almost fell off his feet when the arrow hits it. It runs 40 yards and it falls over. Um, so we think, we, 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 were, we were really happy with the results of that. We thought the deer wasn't going to go far, but with having no blood, we decided to back out. Um, we waited two more hours. We got, some, uh, we got some good help. We got some bright lights. We go back in and we scour the field and we never find a drop of blood. The only thing we find is we find about three inches of her arrow that's broken off at her, at her fletchings. Um, so we know that she had really good penetration on the deer, but unfortunately that was all we had to go off of was how much, uh, she had at least 20, 21 inches of penetration. So 
we decide that we're going to try to get a hold of, of, a, of a dog, have them come in with us in the morning. Um, we figured that we'd be better safe than sorry, have, put the dog on the track when it's fresh, and uh, have them follow it. Unfortunately, the dogs weren't available first thing in the morning, so we decided to go in, in, our, in our, our own and uh, just uh, move slow and see if we could find something, and you'll see what happens. I'm done. Unbelievable. <laughs> the morning after, my daughter-in-law smoked a hammer. I'm telling you right now. Yeah, I'm, I'll probably never shoot a buck that big in my life. This is something. Wayne had it on video last night. This girl right how, here. How many weeks pregnant are you? 20. I'm, I'm telling you right now, Lori. This is a hammer. I can see it laying in the bottom down there. Oh, I see it. Yep, I see and it. And it's like, holy cow. We did the best thing yep. by just backing out last night and just letting it go. That deer didn't knew, go 120 yards at the most. I knew she hit it good. I watched, I mean, we watched it. We watched the deer fall down. That deer was dead when we were up there last night. But we did the best thing by just backing off. It's probably just a doe or something. You no. Know, <laughs> if it's a doe, your phone's on its head. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, I'd be, I'd be proud to shoot this buck. I, it's probably, I guarantee it's probably bigger than buck with any buck that I've shot or any buck that you've shot. So, we gotta step our A game up. Awesome. <laughs> Ohio! He's more excited than you are, Lori. Oh, Holy yeah. hell. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's a freaking hammer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at the right side is ridiculous on it. Yeah, it's dip. It's dead. It, it's been there all night, Wayne. <laughs> We did the oh, best I had, thing. I had, it didn't have a broken tine on this side. Holy jumping. Look at the god dang junk on it. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. This is freaking great. That's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> wow. No, yeah, that's a dandy. Big, look at the neck and stuff on it. Man. That's going to look nice on the wall. Oh, man, is that a dandy. <laughs> it's too bad that, that tine's broke here, but... Here's what it is. Whoopee. <laughs> I know. Look at that. Oh, this is so freaking Remember crazy. I told you the right side had yeah. a big curled yeah. G1 on there? Wow. Uh, mm. So we on. went probably from where she shot 150 yards, I'm May, gonna say. Maybe 150. And she hit it actually low. It, the entrance was back there on it, hit the leg and then it went up in. It must have been quarter and away more than what we thought the deer was. Um, and actually the deer has a lot more character has got kickers and stuff on the bases we didn't even realize it had but it's 15 15 scoreable points and for pennsylvania just a absolutely phenomenal deer yep so my wife's second buck with a bow and they're both nice yeah i mean I, like i said she shot a bigger buck than we need to have some of that <laughs> rub off on us i know but I guess I guess you could say that, but there again, we're both tagged out in PA. I, I didn't put, I'm tagged I didn't out put in the Ohio, blind out for her, so, so, so we're ready to roll to Ohio tomorrow afternoon, and hopefully put one on the ground for Wayne, yeah. or Jesse, or both, or both. <laughs> so maybe her husband will get some gratitude after this. Maybe we'll we'll see. <laughs> so, congratulations. Thanks. I would start right up that way, or even even in the way up that way. Yeah, I think right up through there looks like an easy spot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna start going. You know, winger up over the hill here. Now we can go. Can I go through here? Yeah. Oh. That's a live tree, let's go that way. 